all right what is and hey, folks welcome back to the channel so in this video I'm gonna be tearing down this uh, single cam d16 a6 and uh, I'm just gonna hop right into it so the first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, crank this motor over a couple times get um, all the cylinders the, the tops of the cylinders all cleaned off and then I'm gonna number them So I got these pistons all cleaned up and I can write on them except for I'm probably not going to end up reusing the set now that I cleaned them because I noticed that this piston is missing quite a big chunk. Let's see if I can on that. that doesn't look OEM. <clears throat> Get like an idea of the depth there. So I'm not going to be reusing this pistons um, when and if I ever rebuild this motor. So I am just going to go ahead and take this completely apart. I'm so this is where you would be uh, numbering your pistons if you uh, were planning on reusing them. Alright, so now that we got um, all this stuff taken off the side of the block here, uh, I went ahead and loosened up all the, uh, I think this oil pump like case thing. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this. And I just want to make a note. Um, yeah, this looks like trash. And obviously the pistons are, are no good, probably. But there's no like metal shavings up in here. So I'm. I'm pretty hopeful that this motor is actually in somewhat decent condition. Uh, by that I mean like the main bearings and like the crank and whatnot. But we're not going to know until we get there. And something else I forgot to do before I put this on the engine stand was take off the main seal um, bolts down there. And I think I can probably get in there with a wrench. Alright, so I couldn't find anything in the book about the proper loosening uh, method for the uh, main caps there, but I found this for cylinder heads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm just going to follow that. So I don't know if this is necessary, but I went ahead and labeled every single bolt, uh, 1 through 10. I 
loosened the caps, but the uh, tops aren't just sliding off, so I'm going to hit the uh, bottom of the piston with this piece of wood here. There it goes. And I'll repeat that step for every one of the pistons. So all the um, rod bearings are removed, and I think I can go ahead and take this crank out. All right, so I think this crank is ready to be lifted on out. I need to stay up in there. All right, there we go. This motor is completely disassembled. Sick. All right, so that is where I'm going to end this video tonight, folks. I will do the um, look over. The internals uh, video tomorrow. Catch you the next one. Peace out. Here.